everybody sang. We want the funk. We gotta have that funk. Oh, we kick it old school. We think we're so cool. We take it back to the past. We go and act a fool. Ah, up jumps the middle finger. Make my game. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sports Buzz, the fanatical view. I am your host, Scott D. Lewis, here live in studio, Comcast Cable, Channel 23, downtown Denver, Connecticut on this May 19th. It's a beautiful day. It was kind of a beautiful day. I'd like the mornings to be a little bit better. A little more warmer, but... Still a little, a little chilly. Chill, but not too bad. Getting know. a little better. I actually did some gardening this week. I said, the heck with all this lousy weather. I gotta get that garden going. It was really cold on Monday. It yeah. was 29 degrees. Yeah, I know. I went down to work at seven. I did uh, some gardening on Tuesday, so uh, you know we gotta we gotta just start forcing Mother Nature, Nature into to... giving us a little spring and summer. I mean Memorial Day is coming up. Oh yeah, isn't Next that week. supposed to be the start of summer? Yeah, it hasn't quite felt like it yet, but it's getting well, a little better. Um, so we are here live once again, live. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and check how many weeks. This got to be a record. This, this got to be a this got to be a new record. And guess what? We're off next week. We're off next week. <laughs> <laughs> the record will end. <laughs> We will the streak, not be The here. streak stops. <laughs> Let's hope Jackie Bradley Jr.'s streak continues. Oh, I hope so. I, 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 I wish him all the luck to get that streak. 24 out. games and counting. I think, let's say, Molitor was the last one was, what, 39? Is that the high, long? I think yeah. somebody's gone longer than that. Yeah, Somebody, but I mean. But that was, uh, well, that was a little while ago. Um, well, let's uh, officially, well, we'll say uh, we are live. So 203-792-4101 if you want to give a call. And uh, say you've been watching live every week, and now you're finally going to call after we say we're not going to be here next week. <laughs> Where have you been? We've been live every week. Where yeah. are the phone calls? You know. Anyway, so let's say hello to uh, my right-hand man, Mr. Bob Broad Jr. Hi, Scott. How you doing there, Bob? I'm good. I want to thank you and the whole crew for being at our first anniversary party. Yeah, good time, American Legion. Yeah. Had some fun on Saturday night. Big storm rolled through yeah. in the middle of the party while we were standing outside, but uh, everything was good inside. Yeah. I noticed that uh, Connor was trying to steal the show from the DJ. Yeah, yeah he, he was having he, a he blast. He was sitting there at the DJ table. I thought he was going to get on the wheels of steel and start yeah. spinning and cutting. Yeah. But uh, he was one-handed, though. Oh, yeah. Where is Connor? Connor's here tonight. Hey, hey Connor, you want to come on Does out Connor here? Connor want to say hello? We haven't seen Connor in a while. I know he wanted to show something off. Uh, yeah, he um, show the world. He, he had a little accident about a week ago. Oh, and might as well have the other half come out too. No. Oh, uh, well, Jenna, she, she always comes and steals the show. All right, Connor, what happened to your arm? Let's see. Come on, show it us. Ah, oh, broken wrist. Yeah. Quick quiz, Connor. I am. Um, I. How many times? Um, have, it's right here, around here. I yeah. broke it. Do you remember what I told you at the party the other night? No. How many times I've broken my wrist? Five times. Five times. So you got four to go to catch mm -hmm. up to me. But I let's try not to catch up. Just go with the one. You don't want to yeah. do it again. What? No. I broke my arm once. You did too? Well, your yeah, shoulder. Yeah, you had the problem with your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. All right, we got a show to get to, guys. So okay. thank you for stopping by. My joke. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Connor slams the door <laughs> in his sister's face. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, That's it. They're banned from the show. <laughs> Speaking of shows, Bob, Spotlight on right. Tuesday nights at 9, Wednesdays at 12. You finally got, got a little play for purpose yes, action I going did. on I got this the, week. The or firefighter it was on this game week. up, which was really good, you know? It was a really good game. So I'm looking forward to getting that and getting that online on the yeah. YouTube, on the Facebook, the whole bit for your sport, uh, Spotlight and on next page. Next week, I hope to have that part two done. All right, we'll be looking forward to it. And uh, so you can tune, and you can always catch our show. We do have the Facebook page. You can search us out. We're on YouTube as well. Uh, Mike Tui is in there. We were live last night, yes. speaking of oh, live yeah. shows. Expose Cinema, Friday nights at 9, Wednesdays at 1, and occasionally a special live show, which he did last night on wow. Wednesday at 9 o'clock. Guess who called? Uncle Buck. Nope. Who? Oh. He's not here tonight, but oh, we have his stats. Oh, Strange Man. Strange Man. Calls into the show. What was, it, what was show. he uh, calling in on? <laughs> I don't know, some politics. Uh, politics, politics, all politics. We don't get into politics. And Mike the Met Maniac is here as well, <laughs> McFadden. So uh, we got some things to get to. Let's see, we, this weekend, Bob, the 141st running of the Preakness. Yes. Saturday. I 
Uh, Nyquist is 8-0 uh, and heading in. Of course, he won the Kentucky Derby, held off Exaggerator. We see the post right there. Positions, he got the three spot. Exaggerator at the five. They say Uncle Lino and Awesome Speed uh, right around Nyquist are both uh, fast horses and are going to look to set the pace quickly. So that's going to be the thing to watch. All is Nyquist going to go out and run with the quick pace set by these two other horses on his uh, both sides of him? Or is he going to have the patience, hold back, and then take it late? And Exaggerator almost closed at the yeah. Kentucky Derby if he had a little farther to go. But remember, the Preakness is actually shorter than the Derby. It is. So Exaggerator is going to have to make his move quicker. Exaggerator, 7 to 2 odds. Nyquist, 3 to 5 odds. So a heavy, heavy favorite. And there has been rain galore yes. down there in uh, the DC saying. Loop Baltimore area. They've had like rain 18 straight days, 19 straight days. So it depends if it's a muddy track. Anybody's it could be anybody. Is his game. mother a mother? Is yeah. his father a mother? mother. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Can he run in the rain? Yeah. It looks good, like it's a... going to be wet slop down there this weekend. Uh, we'll find out. 11 horse fields. Only three horses ran in the Derby. Uh, Lonnie was the other one with Exaggerator and Nyquist. So Saturday, uh, about 6 o'clock or so, 6.30, they'll get that race going, and we'll see if he can win the second leg of the right. triple, triple crown, and we might get back-to-back -back years. We'll find that out. Also this weekend, big international event. This is what kind of snuck up on me, but the French Open begins on Sunday, and a big announcement today from one Roger Federer. He is out. Not uh, are going to be able to go. He's been battling some uh, injuries this season. Thought he might be ready for the French Open, but he officially announced today he is out. And uh, Caroline Wozniacki is also out. We know Mar Maria Sharapova is still dealing with the fallout of her failed drug tests uh, and all that stuff. And as we get closer to the Olympics, Bob, we're going to start talking about some of this doping scandals oh. going on in the uh Olympics and uh, the past Olympics and Russia specifically, right. some bad things going on. Uh, so we'll see what happens in Russia. We're, we're gonna have to wait to see if they're even gonna be eligible right. with what they did at the last Winter Olympics, I guess it was. But we'll get more into that as we get a little closer this summer to Brazil. I need to do a... Yes, that's right. You had something uh, to pass along. Condolences, says, correct? Yes. Uh, uh, Danny and Carol Yvonne, uh, their son Ricky um, had a accident where the car mm. really fell on him. Tragic and, accident this yes, weekend, right? Yeah, this past Saturday. So we like to send out their con our condolence to, to them and the family. And they're part of the old uh, racing yeah, team? Yeah, they're part of the Southern New York Racing Association. Okay. Yeah, so we pass along our condolences and that is just a terrible accident that took place. You can never be prepared for something like that to happen, and uh, it's got to be in total shock, I am sure, the whole family. Yeah, it was at the wake tonight, so it was mm. a lar very large crowd. It's good that he got the support, and probably the family needed that. All right, um, so we will now uh, move mm. on. Uh, Major League Baseball, how about we go to, stats. Go to the envelope, yeah. oh, please? And, and the, Strange Man's the, stat of the week. For Sports Buzz on the 140th day of the year, he's going historical on me. He's going historical. He's got some pretty good. He's got a good one here tonight. Okay. That's well thought out. Yeah. Well written out. I can actually read, read it. it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on Tuesday, May 17th, uh, was the anniversary of the first broadcast of a baseball game in the United States of America. The year was 1939, 77 years ago. NBC, the national broadcast company, broadcast the game between Princeton and Columbia oh. at Bakersfield in Manhattan, New York City. Was uh, Lou Gehrig part of the... Uh, I do not know that. Because he was going to Columbia at the time. Interesting. Strange man, where are you? You got to call and follow up on this stat. Maybe we'll see if he can follow that up with us next week. Or anybody else out there watching can look it up real quick for us and call. What's the number? 203-792-4101. There were only about 400 TVs, television sets, to receive the broadcast at the time. And then five months later, the first major league game was broadcast. So 1939, Bob, was when we had our first broadcast. 
He did not give us that. I mean, uh, probably was the, I, could be the Yankees, could be the Giants, you know. We don't know. We'll have to see if we get a follow-up yeah. on this week's historical stat of the week. Mm. Speaking of baseball, Bob, your Mets and your Nationals locked up in a little series going on. Mm -hmm. uh, they split the first two games. Tonight, another good pitching matchup as uh, Harvey with his 3-5 yes. and five record, yeah, 4.93 ERA, only 41 strikeouts, goes up against the Strasburg Express. 6-0 and oh, Strasburg, Strasburg is with the 2.95 ERA, 65 Ks. That's about 10-plus uh, Ks per uh, game, basically, for him so far. So he's been pitching well for the Nationals. I did not realize until today when I saw that he was undefeated coming into this game. Uh, but they two, split uh, the first two games. Uh, Syndergaard outdueled Scherzer in that 2-0 first game of the uh, series. Two solo home runs. Who do, uh, did uh, Granderson hit one, I think? I think so. Uh, in the first inning, perhaps, early in that game, I believe. And uh, last night it was Cologne going wild. Did not have a good uh, outing in the 7-1 loss. Uh, but we saw the return of Daniel Murphy. Murphy yes, they gave him a... Yeah, uh, the Good. crowd definitely stood up, gave him the big applause, and then they booed him Amen. every at bat afterwards. Yeah. Uh, Murphy comes in. Uh, he's batting, Bob, 395 yeah. right now for the Nationals. 22 runs scored, five homers, and 25 RBIs. Uh, he's leading the team in average, and he's among the leader in uh, all those other statistics for the Nats. I looked up uh, the leaders for the uh, Mets. Yeah. Cespedes leads in all four major offensive categories. He's yeah. carrying the team right now, Bob. 289, nobody over 300 uh, for the Mets. That's not good. 23 runs scored, 13 home runs. Yeah. That's a lot this early in the season. And 33 RBIs for Cespedes. Uh, the Nationals in first place at 24 and 16. Who's in second, Bob? The Mets. No. No. You are in third place, Bob. Third place. The fight in Phil's. Oh. What is going on? Philadelphia Freedom. 24 and 17. The Mets at 22 and 17 after that lousy the, oh, road, road trip. trip where they did not do well at all. Uh, they finished. Uh, they Did they avoid the sweep in Colorado or did they end up um, getting swept? Uh, I know they lost the first two. Did we lose in... Uh and they lost, uh, they split in L.A., but they had the bad start, what, in Arizona. Uh, we got, yeah, we got swept. They did get swept in Colorado, so that was a 4-7 yeah. and seven road yeah. trip. Not good for the Mets. Um, you know, so they would like to get the win tonight. They would like to see Harvey yeah. pitch well. He did not look good uh, in that game in Colorado no. on Saturday afternoon. And the coach, Francona, got ejected. Yeah. Um, I think we got some pictures of that. Yeah, we do right there. Um, you know, so, I mean, he was probably just fed up with yeah. the way the team was playing on this road trip. Um, so, you know, the Mets, I mean, we don't think the Phillies are going to be built to last. Right. But a little surprising for them. And this is the first series. You get another coming up. You're going to head to Washington next week uh, to continue. Uh, these are the first three of 19 on the season. And this is going to be a matchup that all Major League Baseball fans will be watching all year because right. these two teams are going to be fighting it out for probably the division title unless the Phillies really continue to surprise. And uh, at least somebody will end up in that wild card game and you want the uh, division title so you don't got to play that one gamer. Right. And Miami, the Marlins also over 500 in the uh, surprising uh, NL East is a little better than most people thought. At 21 and 19, the Marlins playing pretty well. Uh, the Cubs remain the top team, not only in the National League, but in all of baseball. They're only 6-4 and four in their last 10, so they're coming back down to earth a little bit. Yes, But still 28-10, and 10, and they took, I believe, <coughs> 5 of 6 against the Pirates in the last two weeks. The Pirates can't, can't be happy about that. No. Pirates 21-18, and 18, St. Louis 21-19 and 19 in the Central. How about this? Last week we complained that out West nobody was above 500. It was right. pretty weak. Giants proceed to win seven straight. Since then, Bob, they are now 24 and 18 in first. The Rockies, who we just mentioned, uh, yeah, swept just, the uh, yeah, Mets. That's... They're surprising at 20 and 19. They got a rookie kid playing very well. We're going to look into his stats as we get a little farther into the season. Dodgers over 500. Living the life without Donnie Baseball, yeah. not so great. And also without Granky, who went on to Arizona, 
Uh, they are 21 and 20. Diamondbacks, they took two out of three against the uh, Yankees, Bob. Yeah. And Granker, he finally pitched a good game. He has struggled early in his tenure with the Yanks. Uh, but the Red Sox, fresh off that homestand where they went six and one, scoring runs galore, beating up on the Astros and the Athletics. Uh, they got rained out on Monday in KC and then lost the first two. One was in an afternoon yesterday doubleheader pitching duel. And then last night, David Price finally came up with the goods. He's actually had two outings in a row now. Right. So people are starting to come off the ledge uh, with him. <laughs> hey, I mean, it was getting ugly. Yeah. I mean, his ERA was 6.7, Bob. Yeah, I know. Uh, but he finally uh, stepped up last night when they needed because they had lost two in a row. Uh, and they got the last game of the uh, three-game set in Kansas City. Um, and they're going to head back home. A little interesting road trip. Three games out to Kansas City and then come back home for Cleveland. Right. Um, so they are in second at 25 and 16. Um, we saw Saturday's game, Bob. This was really, we know David Ortiz, right. 40 years old, set for retirement. Right. This is his swan song. I mean, he's just playing unbelievable. 10 home runs. He's batting over 300. On Saturday against Houston, they were down 5-1. He hits a home run to cut it to 5-3. And then in the ninth inning, with two outs and a runner on down a run, he drives a triple right. to the wall uh, to tie the game in four extra innings. And then in the 11th inning, he comes up again with two outs and a runner on, and he strokes a double off the 420 mark at the wall, base of the wall, in dead center field for a game-winning double. Just an unbelievable performance, and so really tells, just a so great. That tells you, guys, don't you don't have to be you can still be in that age group, and you can still. He is pound delivering it. right now, and it's a big factor for them getting off to a good start. Pedroia being healthy yeah. and delivering is also a big factor. We mentioned Jackie Bradley Jr. with his 24-game yeah. hit streak. That's a big fan factor. Alexander Bogarts, who's batting like 330 something, he's on a 14-game hit streak right now. The young kids carried over what they were doing last year. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing it again, and they're getting the older guys back healthy, playing well, and there we see some of the celebrations. I had never seen, well, you see the Gatorade thing, but back to those previous shots, Mike, if you got the, uh, I guess it was the rosin bag or something, they came out and all of a sudden it was a cloud of white, white dust. dust. It was a pretty cool scene, yeah. um, I will say. Uh, so the Red Sox are still right behind the Orioles, uh, who uh, lost to Seattle today? Right. Um, but they are 24 and 15, and the Red Sox at 25 and 16. Uh, the Orioles head out to uh, West. They've only played 14 games on the road. The Red Sox have played 19, so the uh, Orioles are finally going to hit the road. Um, we'll see how that affects them and if they can play well out there. Um, Tampa Bay at 19 and 19 swept Toronto, mm -hmm. who has fallen to 19 and 23, losers of five straight, including games in Texas, Bob, and yep. the brawl, the punch heard around oh, that, the world. That shot was a that was a shot, wasn't it? Clean shot to the head yeah. of uh, Bautista. Mm -hmm. And we remember last year, Bob, bad blood spilling over well, after his bat uh, the throw. bat flip heard around the war world. Um, in the playoff series, the clincher to knock the Rangers out of the postseason in that wild scene in Toronto. And, uh, you know, this was interesting, Bob. Te Texas and Toronto have now finished their two series of the year. Oh, they they don't, are they don't done see with each other. each other for the whole season well, unless they see each other in the postseason right. again. And Texas really took offense to this deal or Toronto did, I would say. Texas waited to game seven of the series yeah. and Bautista's last at bat to finally plunk him. <laughs> so they hit him, sent him to first, right. and he's all sorts of ticked off. And then, and then he goes down started. to second place and breaks up the potential doubleheader, slides hard, right. wipes out Odor who gets up, receives the shove from Bautista and does not wait a second longer to deliver the clean blow to the jaw of Bautista. Benches cleared, uh, big suspensions. Odor gets suspended eight games wow. 
for that. Oh, wow. uh, Bautista only one game because mm. he never got to throw a punch. Yeah, he got knocked. <laughs> he got hit before he could land the punch. If you're ever in a fight, mm. I've been in a few in my day, and mm -hmm. I can know where Odir is coming from, Bob. Sometimes you can't wait. No. You know that somebody's about to throw a punch at you. Ah. You got to throw that punch first. Yeah. And that's what he did in yeah. this scenario. And uh, he saved himself from getting hit. And he did. He was actually, a, I think he was, a, no, I'm thinking of something else. All right. Okay. But anyways, he landed a clean blow. So that was interesting with that and the way it was handled. And your yeah. Mets were in a similar situation, Bob. Yeah. With Utley. Yeah, yeah. You guys just faced him. And Mets fans were like, when are we going to throw? When are we going to throw? They when never threw at him. Yeah. It's still lingering yeah. out here. Now in the reverse situation, you see what Toronto said. It was Bush League. It was cheap. Mm -hmm. They waited until the last at bat. I don't know. Are there rules of the game? I heard an interesting interview with Ron Darling on the Tony Kornheiser show this week, actually, and really? he was talking about old school stuff. And, you know, it was a given, basically, that, you know, you would throw at guys for certain situations. And right. uh, he said right now there's no, there isn't as much rhyme or reason. Right. The guidelines are skewed right now. Before, right. in the old days, you kind of knew exactly when it would happen. Right. You would throw the pitch, there would be retaliation, Nation, and it would be over pitch, with. You know, and then he said it would, then it would be over with. Now it kind of lingers, and guys wait, and you're not sure when it's going to happen, and that's when things can get, get a little bit worse. Anyways, the Yankees lost two or three to the Diamondbacks after their 7-3 and three homestand. Uh, they still remain in last place uh, in the AL East, um, and they head to Oakland tonight. Chai Sox, losers of four straight, um, they're 24 and 16, still in first. Uh, they finish their home series with Houston, and then they get Kansas City, who's got themselves back to 500. They were in a real bad stretch yeah, they uh, before they uh, had a walk-off win to end their road stand, and then two out of three against the Red Sox. Detroit not doing well at 19 and 21. Houston uh, at 17 and 24. Seattle, we mentioned first place, only five and five in their last 10 though, at right. uh, 23 and 17. Texas has lost three straight, getting swept by Oakland after that brawl. Right. So they have uh, lost a little mojo after that scenario as well. Oakland 19 and 22. What's up with the Angels at 18 and 22, Bob? Well, we got they got talent on that team, you'd think. A couple weeks we got before the season will be starting for the. Uh, that's right. We did not mention that. Uh, I was going to mention that at the top of the show. Well, the Westerners uh, will be starting our season. The yeah, 10th. before we shift gears to other sports, we could mention that. George Foster, there we see it right there, the Celebrity Breakfast 2016. It's the kickoff to the season. Come on down. Are the tickets still available? The tickets still available. Reserve now. Amber Room uh, Colonnade. And, uh, of course, uh, WLAD's Bart Pasterna is the big MC of that event. There we see the schedule, the Westerners schedule. They start, they play that night against Plymouth and, and they're home on that Saturday night yes, as well. Yep, and Saturday, and Saturday we have the clinic for the kids, the kids clinic oh, okay. during, the, during the morning, so. All right, uh, we're waiting on a Westerners roundup show to begin. Yeah. So we're gonna have to keep talking about the Westerners ourselves right here. Yeah. Give them a little plug. Uh, but George Foster, I'm looking forward to that. I'll be back down. All right, we got about five minutes. So let's go to the NBA action. Uh, yeah. A lot of times this year I said it was fantastic. Right now, the Western kinda... Conference is a little bit fantastic. Yeah, Eastern is not. Raptors at Cavaliers tonight. Game one went to the Cavs, who are now nine and zero in the playoffs, one fifteen to eighty four, and it probably wasn't even that close. Right. Blowout in game one, Bob. Looked like Toronto clearly um, had given everything they had in their second right. game seven of this postseason. Remember, they went seven against Indiana. Then they had to go seven against Miami. Right. And uh, they were not ready for game one. And the Cavs, who look uh, very healthy right now, right. they got balance, they got depth, they're shooting the three ball. They're going to be tough to beat for Toronto. I would expect Toronto to play better tonight. I do think Toronto has a much better game. And Toronto actually played well against, my, uh, against Cleveland, right. winning some of the games against them. And remember, they went right down to the wire, came down to the final two or three games for home court. Uh, so Brown Toronto Brown's played not, them uh, well. Having, uh, King James is uh, having not a... <laughs> Ron Brown, watch out. Um, but, you know, the NBA is held hostage by yeah. Bron Brown, who's looking to go to his sixth straight yeah. uh, NBA championship. He holds everybody hostage. How many of those has he won? Not that many, really. 
Uh, it should have been only when one. He gets that, when he gets that number. Uh, but Popovich blew it in that one series. And then San Antonio obliterated them yeah. the next time out, which clearly stated that uh, they should have lost. Um, but Toronto did take care of business in that blowout of Miami, 116-89 uh, in their second game seven. Uh, so hopefully they can get their legs back underneath them and play a better game tonight because no one wants to see these blowouts. Warriors uh, did bounce back. Uh, after losing, stunning 108-102 to Oklahoma City in yeah. game one after OKC was down 13 at the half, Bob. Yeah. And they came back late and won that game. Uh, Westbrook had the big finish. But last night, Curry, how about this, Bob? He scored 15 straight points in this game in a two-minute stretch of the third quarter. It was That's unbelievable. Cool. And they blew out the Thunder 118-91 to get that series to 1-1 before heading to OKC. How about this for a scheduling snafu, Bob? Uh, game up? two was last night, right? right? That's a Wednesday. When do you think game three is for the uh, uh, OKC Saturday. Thunder? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Bob. Game three, game two yeah. of the Cavs series is tonight on Thursday. Yeah. They play game three on Saturday. Yeah. So there's going to be two games played between the Eastern yeah. Conference teams between Wednesday and Sunday. Yep. What is that? Uh, that is nonsense. All right, and the lottery was the other night. The C Celtics, lottery. bad luck in the lottery. Yeah. They never win. Sixers, Lakers, Celtics are your top three right. picks. Celtics got three picks in the first round, six overall in the draft. They're going to be looking to trade. NHL, St. Louis and San Jose tonight. That series is tied 1-1. The Blues won game uh, one, 2-1. Two and then the Sharks back, bounce back on the road for a 4-0 shutout in game two. Um, Penguins are now up 2-1 to one on okay. the Lightning, who are shorthanded. Yeah. Ben Bishop is still out. Uh, this was the uh, Phil Kessel show last night. Great right. game by him in that 4-2 win on the road. They regained home uh, ice advantage. Uh, as the Lightning had won game one in Pittsburgh, yeah, uh, the but the Penguins have now won off. two straight. <laughs> uh, Sidney Crosby got that overtime yeah. winner in game two, 40 seconds in, which I believe was the fastest ever. Uh, quick mention of golf, TPC was this past week, and yeah. Jason Day, your world's number one, went wire to wire, yeah. and Jordan Spieth, after gagging up the Masters in his first match back, missed the cut. He took a month off after the right. Masters meltdown, and then he missed the cut in the TPC. So I'm a little, getting a little concerned about uh, him. Are we out of here? We're no, we got a few seconds. Oh, we do have 30 seconds left. All right, so we will be gone next week. Week, we'll be back the following. We'll be back the first week of June. We'll be back the first week of June for show number 199. Nine. And then uh, I got to figure out what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do an hour show for yeah. the. Uh, we need to do an hour big show. Big 200. Anybody know what the first show was? Was I even on the first show? Yeah. And what was it about? What was it about? <laughs> if you can come up with that information, call us, call us when we come back in, in two weeks. Yes, think about that for two weeks. Yeah. Maybe Strange Man's got a stat about that. All right, I think now right, we're, we're out, of here. out of here.